Hello and welcome to Pursuit a Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis, I'm an audio reviewer and this is my video coverage for the Munich High End Show 2019. I'd like to thank my show coverage sponsors. Melco, GIK Acoustics, Telerium Q. I have created lots of videos as part of a coverage for the high end show and you'll find other videos like this in my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and I'll be seeing you all soon. Then uh, we are at the Munich show and we are presenting the new all-in-one YBA and inside Inside we have a room dedicated to the YBA Heritage Lane line with French Muledin speakers. Uh, I, I would like to show you that uh, I am first of all designing the product since almost 40 years and uh, now since 2009 we have a new line. In fact, we have four lines of electronics. We have the Heritage Line, Genesis Line, Passion Line, and Signature Line. And most of the components are made in France, including the fuses, the cable, the capacitors, the AC connectors, the solders, and uh, even the isolators for the transistors. Uh, mainly the, the specificity of the YBA product is that it is first of all cool product and the design is made in such a way that from the entrance to the, to the output the, on the signal path you meet only active devices like transistors then you have no capacitors, no resistors and I use also mainly uh, double C transformers, not to read transformers, because for me the double C transformers are the best. There is only something which is not very good, it is the price, which is about three times the price of Autorader. Tell us about the difference between Heritage and Genesis and then Signature. Tell us about the differences in the... Okay. In the nodule system, you know what is important, if you come into the room, you feel it's real or not. Why you can feel it's real or not? It's for me because, first of all, of the timbre, and secondly, because of the dynamic of the music. It doesn't mean that it's loud, but the dynamic of the music, it's the life of the music. For me, it's a key point. After, you can have an image or whatever, but even in a real concert, you have not always a good image. But you feel it's real because you have the timbers and you have the dynamics. Then, when I, I tweak a product, for instance the Touch, which is my button line, I am very concerned about the timber and the dynamics. But you will tell me why buying, for instance, the Genesis, which is the line after the Touch, if is almost perfect. In which way it, is it different? I would say that it's a little bit if you you put away, you open close between you and the music. Then it's more and more transparent, it's more and more real, it's more and more relaxing and also what is important, it's more also flexible to the quality of the CD. I mean that if your system, auto system is good, you can listen every music you want, even if it's not perfectly recorded. And you've got a new product that's coming soon, the uh, Heritage Streaming Music Center, which we can see there. Yes. Tell us and about that, please. Then at the show, we are presenting this new product, which is the R100. And Jackie will present you the product, which is. We've been without a streamer for too long. But rather than just come up with a streamer, this is an all-in-one product. It won't be available until September, so this is a, a bit of a preview. Uh, six and a half inch display. It will have an app and it has a remote and it's a touch screen. So 
I can do whatever I like here on the screen. Where are you streaming the music from? Is that coming from Tidal oh, or something? Oh, no, no, no. From here we have a USB at the moment. Oh, I see. Okay, right? okay, okay. Just, just for now. So it's not a product with internal storage. You'll go and get your music from a USB or USB source or... You will. Or license. you will get it from Tidal, okay. Cobus, or from Spotify. Okay. All part and parcel of the machine. So, so that's pretty much a heritage line standard of sound quality products as an all-in-one? Yes, yes, it will. Yeah. It has a 70 watt channel amplifier, has an array of analog and digital inputs, uh, it has Wi-Fi, including photos, including photos. it has Wi-Fi, uh, it's also wired, it has airplay, Bluetooth, it, I mean, you name it, it's got it. I hope, we're hoping for September release. Perfect. What would the price point be, please? Uh, in US dollars, it will be around three and a half thousand dollars. Uh, I think I think Roger said maybe three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, UK, whatever. The, three thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's basically a full system of that heritage standard for about three thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, and it will have an app. Oh, Did an I app mention that? A control app. Yeah. 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 The reason it's a heritage line is because heritage we're doing black and silver. So if anybody owned Genesis, it would be no problem. They could get a black one. Okay. Here at the Munich show, we are presenting a small system. It is a rail judge line with a CD player and the integrated, and with a French loudspeaker whose name is Mulidin Cadence. We are at a level of price. It is, uh, for instance, 3,500 for the electronics and the same for the loudspeakers. So listen, please. Thank yes, you. and it's a room with no tweak special, you know. It's Two pieces of electronic, one pair of speaker, two plants, that's all. <laughs> so we will listen to two pieces. Okay. First of all, the clarinet, because it's uh, and after something amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I like the amplifier, the amplifier is really mm. nice. 